Hi guys, welcome to At Home with Bria. I'm Bria Gotthart, and today I wanna to show you how I make lasagna to please both low carb and regular carb people. Let's get started. So one of the things that sets my lasagna apart from a lot of other lasagnas is that I use Jimmy Dean regular sausage one pound. I find that that gives the best depth of flavor. First things first, do the things that take the longest first so that your food gets done at the right time. The first thing you wanna do is grab a large pot, fill it two thirds of the way with water and get it boiling. Next, you're gonna take one pound of Jimmy Dean regular sausage None of that fancy flavored humbo jumbo, just regular. Cook it until it's no longer pink. Take your spatula and ch -ch 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 -ch, make it into small pieces. So those are the first two steps. This is what your sausage should look like. Now I have my water to a full boil to take six Lasagna noodles. It doesn't matter the brand, a full batch with regular noodles, you're gonna need nine noodles, but you're gonna put 11 noodles in just for good measure. So you'll put your noodles in, add some olive oil or whatever oil you have into your water so that your um, noodles don't stick together. Sticking together is not your friend. Get those boiling 10 minutes, I generally, Tilt it, that way the water won't flow over. Here's where one of my fun tools comes in. I have a Vitamix, which is my number one tool in the kitchen. My number two tool is a KitchenAid mixer. So I dumped my tomato sauce and all of my spices, as well as a half of an onion, which I did not chop up, and four cloves of garlic, which I did not mince all into my Vitamix, and I'm about to pulse it four times on number four, and it will be wonderful. All of the spices and ingredients that I've put in my Vitamix, um, I will list below in the description, so make sure to check it out. And if you're loving these videos, please subscribe. Here's a little tidbit for you. If you have fresh garlic or fresh onions, you know they completely stink up your refrigerator, but, I have a solution. Um, a glass jar does wonders. My favorite jars are pickle jars because they happen to have a really wide mouth. Just tend to be the perfect size for garlic or for onions. So use that tip next time. So our sauce is all ready. I'm about to combine our sauce with our sausage and then we're ready for the next now step. Now we're ready to get our ricotta cheese blend in our bowl. You're going to need 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. I prefer full fat. You're also going to need a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I use a Parmesan cheese blend that I get from Sam's Club um, that comes kind of shaved. It says shave blend Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano. So those are all hard dry cheeses and I love the, the combination of that, but Parmesan is just fine. Even if you get it in like the powdered form, it's fine. You just need a quarter of a cup, one egg, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So you're going to mix that up. I like to put just a little bit of basil in my ricotta cheese blend. Anytime you can add spices into something, you are adding antioxidants into your food. So never skimp on your spices. I have my noodles, my low carb wraps, my sauce, and my ricotta mixture. We're gonna begin layering. Start with just a little bit of sauce. You're just wanting to coat the bottom of your dish so that food won't stick to the bottom of it. So just a little goes a long way. Now you're gonna go get your noodles. Here's where it gets interesting. If you were going to make just regular lasagna, you would have cooked 11 just in case a couple of them didn't turn out well, but you're actually going to use nine. If you are actually going to do half low carb and half of your dish um, regular noodles, then you only needed to cook six noodles and you'll break those in half. 
I am doing a low carb version um, for myself and my husband. And then I'm making my daughters, they do not prefer low carb. And so I'm giving them regular noodles. And I just break these apart with my hands, you guys. I go get my wraps. I just rip these apart. You can cut them if you want to cut them, but I just rip them. And you can buy low carb wraps that are already in a rectangle. And the brand that I have purchased before is called Joseph's. But I happen to have these low carb wraps that my husband likes, that's what I'm using. And just placing them in there so that you have a nice flat edge up against your dish. Simply going to go and we are gonna do our ricotta cheese layer. You're gonna use all of your ricotta cheese on this layer. We're gonna continue layering this between noodles and sauce or your wraps and sauce until it's sorted to the top and we're going to top it with mozzarella cheese, a dash of salt, and a dash of basil and pop it in the oven. If you wanna bake your lasagna tomorrow, no worries. Just cover it, put it in the fridge, bring it out tomorrow when you're ready to bake it, preheat your oven to 350 and put it in for 40 to 45 minutes. It's as easy as that. Now in one dish, I have a low carb and a high carb side to my lasagna. For my full recipe, look below in the description. Have a wonderful week and don't forget to subscribe.